I was very scared. I was very angry because I didn't get the answers that I wanted to get from the hospital. We had been through so much. Once I came to in shock trauma, I looked immediately to my left and my right, and I saw my wife. She was in tears. I asked her what happened, how I got here, and then she explained the whole situation to me, and immediately I just started bawling. You or someone in your family has suffered a life-changing accident. The injuries that have been sustained have caused a loss of ability to work, take care of your family. It's difficult to get medical care. It's difficult to find services or get any help at all. You have one chance to hold the people accountable who caused this harm to your life and your world. You need to find someone who can get you the money you need to put your world back together and have a life instead of an existence. Today, I'm going to help you with that. I'm attorney Paul DeMore. I'm a personal injury lawyer, and I'm here to talk about the best way to find the best lawyer for your case. The first thing you need to consider is exactly what kind of case you have. Any personal injury lawyer has a license and can do any personal injury case. That's not going to help you. What's going to help you is finding a lawyer who has a track record of success at the exact type of case that applies to you. You need a lawyer that has a significant percentage of his practice in the field that you're looking at. And for actual cases, for actual trials in medical malpractice, or whatever it is. If you've been in a motorcycle accident, you want a lawyer who's done a motorcycle accident case. In fact, you want a lawyer who's very experienced at motorcycle accident cases. If you've been hit by a commercial vehicle, a truck, a trash truck, a delivery truck, a UPS truck, you want lawyers who have handled cases against those commercial carriers because they all come with very special nuances. If you've had a medical malpractice case, there are different types of medical malpractice cases. You need a lawyer who understands all of the special details that each of these types of cases involves. And you need a lawyer who's done it and done it right. We were able to get more answers. We were able to basically show the hospital we do have somebody backing us up. He knew exactly what I was going through. He's honest, straightforward, and they're very attentive to details on your case. After experience and a successful track record, remember, most personal injury cases are taken by the attorneys on what is called a contingency fee basis. Most people who have been injured do not have the funds to pay for their lawyers and all of the costs associated with hiring experts, obtaining medical records, performing investigations, hiring people to do crash reconstructions. It's, it's infinitely expensive. It's important that the law firm that is chosen has those deep pockets because during those COVID shutdowns, there were a number of law firms that could not handle their, their caseloads. I personally have had clients come to me on numerous occasions and tell me they needed a new lawyer because their current lawyer ran out of money and was asking them to personally finance their case. That is not a situation you want to find yourself in when you're trying to get justice and compensation for what has already happened to you. It's like adding insult to injury. You don't want that. The most important thing you need to determine is what your lawyer really cares about. And the best advice I can give you on that is go to the website. Really dig in. Are there client testimonials on the website? Because remember, personal injury clients are not allowed to be compensated by the attorneys for providing testimonials or reviews. Those have to be voluntary. And if they're glowing, it's probably because the clients truly feel like their lawyer cared about them, about what their real problems were. Not about some amount of money or some amount of fee, but about them and their family and what a particular amount of compensation could do to make their lives better and to get their world back on track. They're honest. They're straightforward. They won't leave anything out. And the thing is, they believe in their work, their expertise, they're great. Not only just the, the legal part of it, but the actual personal side of it was very hard. And he was not only there for us in the courts, 
but he was there for us behind the scenes when we would have moments where we break down and we are now in a place where we can just breathe. He cared about our actual family dynamics and how it was affecting it. And we didn't have to reiterate our story over and over and over. We knew from the very beginning that we were in good hands and that Paul takes a very personal interest in his clients, in our family situation. And that's why we're having this discussion today. Because too many people call the first lawyer they see. They call the first Google ad that comes up when they search for a term. You have to do your own homework. Call two or three law firms. Meet with two or three lawyers, at least, on any case. Don't settle for the first thing that comes along. This is not an impulse buy situation. This is your life, or the life of your family, or the future of your family. It's too important to trust it to whoever hits you in the face with an ad first. Do your homework, then make your decision.